So we're now back again. If you watched the first video, this was about how to be productive and how that can help you and how having exercise could help you as well. So let's say that you're learning something, you're exercising your brain. And how many books do you read? I mean, you know what? I do have a confession. I mean, I did get through quite a lot of Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I'm one of those people. I do read books and I have a habit of not finishing them. Uh, and one book I did just buy, which I know is a bit shiny object syndrome for a uh, Dan Locke mentee. <laughs> Um, is uh, have you heard of Philip Pullman, um, The Secret Commonwealth? And then there was a book before that, which are pretty much they're like almost. I don't know the difference between fiction and nonfiction here. I mean, I think nonfiction is where it's like information books or self help books and stuff, and then the fiction is like the story books. You know, I cannot tell the difference. I mean, I know my girlfriend told me, but I think... Let's just say fiction, just to be simple. I mean, I might be wrong here. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's quite a quite a good book. Um, and uh, I bet most of you have read the Harry Potter books. But anyway, I mean, that's, that's something to keep the mind productive. It's like the mind is in the gym. It's working out. Um, yeah, like, even imagine if you're at a, uh, a boring lecture at your university, what does that feel like? You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this is fucking boring, I, I don't want to even be here. Or, uh, maybe another thought that goes through your mind, imagine a little buddy in there. Oh, why have I watched this fucking lecture anyway? It's all about, on, uh, politics or political science, yeah. I don't even get it. Half the time, I was staring at some blonde about a few yards away from me. And she was like absolutely fucking tasty. So yeah, I was, and I was not paying attention, and then I fell asleep. And then, uh, yeah, then my hand went somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it went though. Probably went to my pants. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Are you one of those people in lectures that you get so distracted that the hand then um, <laughs> has to slip in the pants? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, I mean, on a serious note, um, that is not productive. Uh, that that would be a problem. So that is probably a sign that uh, you should get out of university ASAP. Um, yeah, and maybe go in a different environment around business people and learn business if that is your thing. Okay, so anyway, I mean, the reason the exercise is great is you're releasing the endomorphins in the body and then the reward system in the brain is back to normal. And uh, I think I'm just seeing a lot of random messages crop up from another app. Yeah, it's a bit random. Don't know how it does that on this phone anyway, but yeah. Yeah, you get my point. I mean, let's say we are doing some exercise. What's the feeling like when you're lifting weights? Uh, you're, um, you're swimming. You're doing everything. You're, uh, you know, going to the gym. Maybe you must have seen those women in like the, in the, uh, you know, the lycra. The lycra, and then they look like really nice. And, uh. And some of them just have this, like, fucking nice ass as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. You get the you get the picture, and uh, you just see that, and you think, I want to go over there and get a number, right? So, yeah, I mean, I mean, hey, you know. But then, which guy who goes over to the woman in the gym when they're there is going to get the number? Is it going to be the guy that is... A high ticket closer making quite a lot of money on the phone or is it somebody that is in some kind of job they don't really like anyway and uh yeah their boss is an absolute novel bitch to them <laughs> in uh in that kind of context what do you think what do you think just put in the comments uh you know i i do love talking about um 
very naughty stuff sometimes. Not actually doing it on a computer, I'd probably feel very guilty about that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I mean, if it's that kind of action, um, I mean, let's pretend that you have certain goals to get to a certain target, a destination. Maybe you want to get a six-pack abs. You want to get uh, more money in your bank account. You want to get a lot of money in your bank account. A lot. Sorry, I'm just flicking the thing up. But yeah, do you get my point? Let's say you want that. What do you have to do to get that thin body, lose a bit of weight, to gain a bit of money? Um, and have you asked yourself, how hard do I have to work to achieve these goals? Is it going to take me six months? Is it going to take me five years? Is it going to take ten? Is it going to take two months? Is it going to take three? Is it going to take a day? Um, but yeah, I was saying how important also meditation is in the last video. So if you've not been watching that, then I suggest you do check that one out. And maybe you check some of the other videos out as well. And also... Just uh, subscribe for more content. Put a comment down below of what videos you would like me to make. And if you are offended by very dirty talk, uh, which could be X-rated and me swearing and uh, talking about Liverpudlians in lecture theatres looking at blondes, then this channel is not for you. So, so yeah, I mean, I'm open to suggestions which are from a constructive point of view. But if you're going to go hater on me, then what are you doing viewing my videos? You know. So... Anyways, I will love you and leave you YouTube video viewers. I hope that you've had a good fireworks night and you've been enjoying it. So, bon voyage and peace out.